moment we've all been waiting for. Christmas. It's Christmas Eve and we have some shopping to do for our Christmas dinner tomorrow and so we are headed to the Pike Place Market and we're gonna take you along. We have a list of just a handful of things that we need for our dinner so we're gonna pick them all up here. Hopefully we actually have a list. We need we got coffee already. We need crab. We need lemon. We need a baguette. We need white wine. We need some kind of salad, vegetable, healthy thing. And we need carrots. What are the carrots for? Santa's reindeer. All right. Hopefully we can get all those things for a nice little feast on Christmas. But first, would you like to see something gross? Yeah. Looks like they have plenty of crab. Looks like they have plenty of crab. Right there. Maybe double wrap this for the smell we're not we'll, until tomorrow. We'll double wrap it. Are Sweet. You, are you going to get home to a fridge for Yep. Yep. Four crab CNC! Four crab CNC! Salad. We got salad. I guess. I guess. Wine. Nice. Washington wine. Uh, carrots. Carrot. And a lemon. And a lemon. And then 11 pounds of Let's crab. See those carrots for the reindeer. Do I, we approve the reindeer proof? Ooh, yeah. Okay, good. They're gonna love that. And then you got 11 pounds of crab. Yep. Good. We're doing good. One more thing. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we got everything on the list, but we forgot about pie. We gotta have pie on Christmas. So, Bergen and I do. We gotta have pie on Christmas. What's Christmas without pie? What's your favorite kind of pie, Bergen? Uh, pecan. Pecan pie? Really? Pecan pie? I don't have a favorite pie. I like cherry pie. I like key lime pie. We we're gonna look for a berry pie though, but we can't be, key lime pie is so good. I don't have a carrot pie. Share your favorite pie in the comments. We want to know and we will see you at the bakery where hopefully we're gonna get some pie. Please have pie. Please take pity on us. You got there. A holiday tart. Oh, 
Ready? Ready? Woo! Yeah. Oh, look at these little pieces on here. It's a holiday tart. It's a holiday tart. It has pecans and cranberries. So good. Ready to move out of the house now. We're back from church and we're gonna make some cookies. Hey, we're back from church. Georgia and I are gonna make some cookies for who? Mm -hmm. Who are these for? Santa and us. Oh, I thought they were only for Santa. Uh. For you too? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna make some cookies and she got these. She made this mix at school. Yes. And I thought it was really cool, so we wanted to share in case. Some other time, like next year, you might want to make these as a gift. It was a really cool gift that her teacher found. And it's from, they're called Cranberry Hootie Creeks. It's just from allrecipes.com. And it's gonna be pretty easy because we just need everything in the mix. Vanilla, an egg, and some butter. And some flour. You ready? Yes. Okay. Put in the egg. There you go. Good job. Perfect. I thought we could do it by hand, but it wasn't working too well. So we got the old mixer out, and so now we're just dropping them onto the pan. So while those cookies are baking, I was going to tell you about our Christmas Eve tradition. And that is to have Chinese food for dinner. We've been doing this in my family since I was little. And it was something where I think it was that my mom just got tired of there being like all this hullabaloo two nights in a row. Where, you know, you had this big Christmas Eve dinner and then you had this big Christmas dinner. And so she wanted to make it easier. She's like, what could we do? What would be open? And especially back then, back in the old days, nothing was really open but Chinese food. Chinese restaurants were often open on Christmas Eve. And so that's what we started to do. And we took that, we did that uh, when I lived in Maryland. And then when we moved down to South Carolina, we just kept doing it. And I don't know if my brother and sister continue on. I have participated when we've gotten together, we have definitely done that for Christmas Eve when we're together, but I don't know if they do it on their own. But we sometimes we do switch it up where we'll get Thai food because we live close to such great Thai restaurants. But this year we are Slade and Bergen just headed off to go pick up the Chinese food down in the International District. So they're gonna be back soon and we can finally eat. I'm really, really hungry. Share your traditions with us in the comments. We'd love to know if there's something that you have always had for dinner, for Christmas Eve, or any holiday, or Christmas dinner. What are your traditions? What are your traditions around food? What have you always had to eat? Certain way of doing things, some kind of ritual or tradition that you've had around mealtime, around this time of year. We would love to know, so leave us a comment. Why, thank you, madame. Ooh. Yeah. Hot and sour soup. So we got hot and sour soup. We got this one. Barley noodle. Oh yeah. yeah I want this is that. what they're famous for. These green shaven barley noodles. Sesame yes. chicken. Yeah. Shrimp fried rice. And last but not least. I want everything that beef, beef broccoli. and broccoli. Dad, I want everything. Well, we're gonna enjoy this Chinese food and we just wanna say thanks so much for joining us. 
and make sure to give us a thumbs up and you should subscribe so you can join us for all our adventures and we hope you're staying happy and healthy and we hope you are getting out and having some brave wild adventures and we'll see you next time. Here's some Chinese food. Yeah.